This is part 29 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the arguments object in JavaScript. The JavaScript arguments object is a local variable available within all functions. It contains all the function parameters that are passed to the function and can be indexed like an array. The length property of the arguments object returns the number of arguments passed to the function. Let's understand this arguments object with an example. Here we have print arguments function. Notice that it is declared without any formal parameters. When we are calling print arguments here, we are not passing any arguments to this function. So in this case, this method should print number of arguments equals zero. On the second line here, we are passing two arguments. So in this case, we should get this message, number of arguments equals two, and whatever those three uh, two arguments are. And finally, we are passing three arguments to this function. In this case, the message should be number of arguments equals three, and whatever those three arguments are. So let's see how to achieve this using the arguments object. So let's create a function. Let's name this print arguments. And to get the number of arguments that are passed to the function when we call this function, we can use the arguments object. So this object is available within all functions. And length property should give us the number of arguments that are passed to this function. And we want to print this message, arguments count equals whatever is the number of arguments that are passed to this function. And then let's print an HTML break. Now what we want to do is loop through each argument that is present in this arguments object and print its value. So let's use a for loop for that. So let's start at 0, i less than arguments.length, i++. plus plus. Now here, the message that we want to print is the argument index. So let's use this text argument. And then whatever is the index position of the argument. So we get that using this variable i. And then let's append an equal to symbol. And then the actual value of the argument. And that's present within arguments object. And notice that we can index it like an array. And then let's also append an HTML break so that each argument will be printed on a separate line. And after we have all the arguments printed, let's print another HTML break. All right. Now let's call this print arguments function. Let's first call it without any arguments. Now let's call it with two arguments. A and B. And now let's call it with three arguments. Let's run this and see the output that we get. Notice that when we call the function without any arguments, arguments count is 0. When we call it with two arguments, arguments count is 2. And those two arguments are printed. And when we call it three arguments, arguments count is 3. And we get those three arguments. So pretty straightforward to get all the arguments and we are using arguments object for that purpose. Another common question that gets asked is, is it possible to pass variable number of arguments to a JavaScript function? The answer is yes, you can pass as many arguments as you want to any JavaScript function. All the parameters will be stored in the arguments object. Let's look at another quick example. So let's use another function here. Let's call it add numbers. Now, we want to provide a capability where uh, you know we can use this function to add as many numbers as we want. Now, if the end user passes no um, arguments, no numbers, in that case, it should say count of numbers is 0 and sum of numbers is 0. In case if we pass three numbers like this, then it should say count of numbers is 3 and the sum of those three numbers in this case is 60, so it should print the sum. So let's see how to achieve this. So to achieve this, we can use the arguments object. So first we want to print the num total number of numbers that are passed to this function. So document.write 
count of numbers equals and to get the count of arguments that are passed we can use the length property let's append an HTML break and then let's create a variable first to hold the sum of numbers and let's initialize that to zero and then let's use a for loop so for where i equals zero i less than arguments dot length i plus plus so we are looping through each argument object using this for loop and then let's initialize the sum sum equals sum plus arguments of i so we are looping through each argument that is passed to the function and then adding it um, you know adding all those numbers together and storing that result in the sum variable and finally we want to print the sum so document dot write sum of numbers equals whatever is the sum and then let's print an HTML break as well alright so first let's call add numbers without any arguments now let's pass 10 20 and 30 so let's run this program notice that in the first case count of numbers is 0 and sum of numbers is 0, count of numbers is 3, and sum of 10, 20, and 30 is 60. The arguments object is available only inside a function body. Attempting to access the arguments object outside a function results in arguments is undefined error. So this arguments object is available only inside the context of a function. If we try to access the arguments object outside of the function body then you will get arguments is undefined error. And though we can index the arguments object like an array as you can see here it's not an array. Okay, The arguments object is not an array. It does not have any array properties except length for example, it does not have the sort method that the array object has. However, we can convert the arguments object to an array. And there are two ways we can do that. So let's see how to convert the arguments object to an array and then use the sort method to sort the numbers. So let's call this print numbers. And let's create a variable here. Let's call this arguments array equals I'm going to use the array class and it has got prototype so array dot prototype dot slice method dot call so here we are using the slice method and then we are going to call that slice method and I'm going to pass the arguments object as a parameter to that function so that function is going to convert that arguments object to an array so in this case this args array will actually contain the arguments object in the form of an array. Now since that's present in the form of an array we can use the sort method and then let's write the value that is present within the arguments array to the page. So let's call this print numbers function and let's pass three numbers. Let's pass maybe 50 20 and 70. Now notice these numbers are not sorted. Now we are converting these arguments. You know these arguments gets passed to this arguments object and then we are using the slice method of the array object to convert that arguments object to an array and then we are calling the sort method. So this should automatically sort the numbers within this array and then we are writing the values to the page. So let's run this and see if the numbers get sorted. Notice that we passed 50, 20, 70, we get 20, 50, 70. The numbers are sorted. So one way to sort, I mean to convert the arguments object to an array is by using array.prototype or you can also use the array literal like this. So you can use square brackets dot slice dot call and then pass the arguments object. Now when we run this we should still get the same 
response. Thank you for listening and have a great day.